This week's episode, Trash Panda Off-Road. AJ and I take the little tracker out with the rooftop tent for a bit of a shakedown slash dry run before we go to Overland Adventure 2021. Found ourselves a nice quiet place at the dead end of a road out here in the beautiful Tillamook State Forest. We are getting a little bit of a sprinkle, which is unfortunate because the weatherman didn't say it was going to happen like that, but it is what it is. Found up some firewood that's already here, so we'll get a fire going here in a little bit. Going to make some dinner. I think we're doing chili dogs for the first night. And uh, just enjoy. And Like I said, hope this sprinkle goes by. Pretty wide angle. Okay, um, the weather guy lied. It has not stopped raining. It's actually gotten a little worse. <laughs> uh, we went for a walk and we're pretty wet. So we're going to sit in the car for a little bit, hang out, have some father son time, and just enjoy being out here. And it, uh, it is what it is. We finished dinner, having some tasty adult beverages, and uh, Relaxing. Morning guys. Morning. Slept pretty good. Um, two guys in that one tent. I was worried about it because, you know, I didn't want him trying to spoon up and snuggle with me. But, <laughs> but it worked out really well. Uh, show you guys how. Um, oh, hey. I was able to run my CPAP machine up in there. You guys have the CPAP issue. A lot of Americans do. Don't be ashamed of it. I try and ran it off of my goal zero, set it up in here, um, and then ran it through the hole there. So I slept just fine. AJ said he slept pretty well. Had a lot more room in here than I thought. I knew that it was good for me and the wife, um, so that wasn't my concern. Uh, but me and another man, little concerned. So lots of room in here. Do have a little bit of condensation um, from his breathing. Uh, but other than that, it worked out okay. I have a fan. I just didn't get it in time. I bought it through Home Depot, and their shipping didn't arrive like it was supposed to. So we will put a fan in here for next time we trip, um, the big Utah trip, Overland Adventure. But for now, <clears throat> it worked out just fine. Finishing up breakfast. No, the drinks are not from breakfast. These are last night's, so don't freak out, anybody. We do not have breakfast beers. Um, it cleared up last night, so we did when I have had a campfire, brought the chairs out, enjoyed the evening. Uh, for now we're going to relax for a little bit. We just finished up some cereal, and then we're going to go to the beach. You know, good thing about living here in the Pacific Northwest, we're, you know, two hours from the mountain, two hours from the beach. So, we're going to drive around in the woods for half hour, 45 minutes, take the long way out. And then we're going to go down to the beach, have some lunch there, cruise on down, check it out. roads and stuff like this out here and after we'll go to the beach and have some lunch we'll drive back out and do the same thing again we'll drive around the logging roads and stuff and see if we can squeeze into some of these smaller sections like this and find a place to camp for the next night Went down the highway a little bit, and then we got back off uh, at Keeney Creek Campground. 
uh, it's past the forestry center and stuff about I don't know it's still we're still 20 miles away from Tillamook area uh, the town of Tillamook but we went up uh, what is it Musal Creek Road and we ended up on Upper Musal Creek Road and we're way the heck out in the boonies but we looked at the map and we think if we take uh, FB5 there we can loop back around to the campground down below so that's the plan not a bad loop just uh, getting out and enjoying the backcountry out here just came up over that edge there ridge or whatever and the radio service kicked back in they even, might even have cell phone service up here just ran across a deer sitting here in the middle of the road I'm gonna see if we can see him off into the brush I don't know how well it turns out on the GoPro though because you can't zoom or anything oh yeah there he is Hope you guys were able to see him. AJ did it. There's the highway. There's the main road. We are heading back down to the Koenig, Koenig Creek campground area. I don't know where this leads. Last time we were here it was closed because of COVID. Leads to a dead end. Anyways, okay, there you go. There's the walk-in area. So you can't park up here next to the restroom and walk in with your stuff. Back on the highway, about a half hour or so away from Tillamook. Cruised on through Tillamook. Didn't stop for anything. I think we're going to go back and have... Uh, some ice cream though at the old Tillamook cheesecake cheese not cheesecake cheese factory whatever um, this is the Barview Jetty area Garibaldi really nice place to come and hang out we're not gonna hang out here we had plans to have a lunch and stuff here but um, now everything down here is a fee area and you know, we were coming down the highway we saw a bunch of people pulled over at the tide pools and way down the road wondering why they were there and not at Barview tide pools because it's a $10 day fee area. Which I can understand if you're gonna be here all day or something, but we're just gonna make some wraps and uh, look at the water. But we're not gonna do that now. I don't wanna hang out too long, you know, without paying the fee, and I don't feel like paying the fee today. We're gonna have some wraps here, uh, and then we're gonna go somewhere I've never been before, a place called Sand Lake, I think. Sand Lake, it's a OHV area with a lot of sand dunes and stuff. So we're gonna go check it out. Here it's not far from Tillamook, so I think we'll get cell phone service here, so we'll Google it and find out. This is the Sand Lake area, it's just a part of it. It is way bigger than I thought it was. There are people everywhere. But I never been. I wanted to come down and check it out. This is like not even I wouldn't say a Great weather weekend, but there are people everywhere. So it looks like they have an actual campground in here too, uh, not just the camping in the staging area and stuff. So interesting. Sand Beach Campground. Check it out. Everybody's jammed up, but it's better than being in the parking lot. Enjoyed our day down in the, heading to the ocean, checking out some things we haven't seen in a while. Now we're back up in the woods. We took uh, Jordan Creek Road. We're heading up to the Jordan Creek Campgrounds just to check it out. Um, and then we'll buzz up into the hills somewhere, find a good spot, probably go for a walk, you know, that kind of stuff. Just enjoy the evening.
came up to check out the Jordan Creek OHV campground and it's closed. Not sure if it's closed for COVID reasons or if it's closed because it's still beginning of the season. It's only May 1st, I think. Um, usually a lot of the campgrounds in this area don't open up till Memorial Day. So it may be closed until Memorial Day or it may be closed for COVID. I don't know. But we don't get to check it out. So that's the way it goes. I guess we're just going to head off into the woods, find a place to camp. kept heading up and this is where we ended up we're not gonna stay here but still a cool view driving around through these narrow trails still haven't found the spot where we're gonna stay but we're having fun Up here in the Tillamook State Forest, they actually have disbursement campsites. See, there's a campfire ring right there. So I think we're in disbursement site number 10 or 11, something like that. But anyway, it's just a campsite that they put out here for us to use. So we're going to go ahead and take this one tonight. It was down a long road, and uh, I doubt we'll get bothered by anybody. So it's just like disbursement camping uh, out in the woods, only there's already a fire ring. So... Got a level spot for the truck. We're gonna go ahead and level it out. I mean, well, it's level as we're gonna get it right now. We'll put the uh, tent out, probably start a fire, and just enjoy the rest of the evening. AJ's already cold. Went for a walk, collected a little bit of firewood. Finally got to use my DeWalt saw. Um, there were some downed trees at the beginning of the campsite, so we just cut the ends off of that. We'll cut those again and start a fire. Then I'll probably cook some dinner and we'll sit around the fire. So we'll see you guys tomorrow. We still got one more day of this adventure. Thanks for watching the video guys. I'm gonna end it here. Now that I'm back at home, uh, I realized I've still got a lot of footage left and this video is probably already close to being 15 minutes long. So this will be part one. Uh, thanks a lot for watching. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and of course as always put your comments down below and follow along trash panda off-road on the instagram i'll see you guys in part two